We've heard a lot in the news lately about bed bugs in hotels and people bringing them home. Well, Buffalo Exterminating is here to show you how they can find out if you have them at home. Joining me now is John Zimmerman, General Manager of Buffalo Exterminating. Welcome. Thank you. You had to bring them, didn't you? Yes, we did. I am so <laughs> creeped out by bed bugs, but it is something that I always worry about when I stay places. You know, it wasn't a big problem until a few years ago, and we've seen, we've followed the trends in the bigger cities mm -hmm. now right here in western New York. And now is the time when all the college kids are coming home, and I also have read that a lot of college campuses are infested with bed bugs. Yes, that's, uh, that's our third largest area that we see, even in western New York here, is college residence halls. All right, so these are bed bugs. These are. Buffalo exterminating, can, can you, I don't even know if you could see them. I gotta show you a little bit more. Look at how GB this is. Can you see the size of them? Isn't that terrible? How do you get rid of these little critters? And they better stay in this case, John, or I swear I'm gonna find I'll be you. in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get rid but of them? A, um, there, well, there's a couple different ways. One is, one is to do regular old traditional treatments using bed bug sprays and dusts and steam and things like that. Or newer technologies are using heat, and that's one of the things that we've worked a lot on, where we just heat a structure up, the entire home, the entire hotel room, the entire mm -hmm. apartment, up to uh, 120 some degrees, and it kills everything in there. Leave it to Buffalo Exterminating to have bed bug dogs. Tell me about it. Bed bug dogs, yeah. Uh, Oh, look at how cute. They're, uh, yeah, this is Big Red. Hi, Big Red. Oh, look at his nose. Okay, so he can sniff and, out bed bugs? Yeah, and his handler, Debbie Puffer, and they're, uh, they're people out of Orchard Park. She's got a company, uh, Serious Canine Inspections, who we use. Uh -huh. they, um, a dog has got a tremendous ability to, to sniff out bed bugs, just like they do for drugs and, and explosives and certain types of cancers. Mm -hmm. uh, they've trained dogs to sniff bed bugs, and we've had extremely good luck using this system. How long does it take? As soon as the dog's in the room, a few minutes to get acclimated, and if they're properly prepared, the dog's starting to either clear the room or if they sit down, they've got certain behaviors that they alert. I know, people are already looking for the number for Buffalo Exterminating. We'll give it to them in just a second. That's right. What are indicators that a person might have bed bugs in their home? Well, one of the first indicators is welts that that aren't as quite the same as mosquito bites or spider bites. So usually they may get welts on their lower extremities. They may be... Um, a couple, two or three welts in a in a row. Mm -hmm. Typically, if you go to sleep at night and you don't have them, and you wake up in the morning, that may be an indicator. Doesn't we, have to be. Give me an idea of size. You say welts. I think it's mosquito big. bite. Okay. All right. What can we do to prevent bed bugs from getting into our homes? Be as vigilant as possible whenever you travel. When uh, don't leave too many things on a hotel floor. Okay. Don't uh, keep stuff in the uh, in your suitcase. Uh, when you come home, go through it very carefully. Look at your luggage. You don't know where your luggage has been, if it's in an airline cargo, this okay. sort of thing. It's a good idea to wash all your clothes once you've gotten uh, back from a trip and mm -hmm. dry it dry it on high heat. That will kill any bed bugs or, or right. eggs that might have gotten into your luggage. All right, so that's what you can do for bed bugs. Now, yep. the weather's getting warmer. I was talking it to a is. girlfriend on the phone. I heard, ah, an ant. Do you spray before you start seeing ants to prevent ants, or do you wait till you see ants? Well, there's a couple of different ways. Uh, uh, treating around the outside of a building, uh, your home, mm -hmm. does a great job of helping prevent ants from getting inside. There's a lot of different ways to take care of ants, though. If uh, Once you get ants, using some, some ant baits is probably mm -hmm. a lot better. They feed on it, and then those, those foraging ants take it back to the colony, and it and kills off the colony. And the other thing I have to say, your company is very careful about where you are putting the sprays and everything. Why is that important to you? You know, it's uh, it, we've realized that we've got a, a responsibility to protect our environment and our mm -hmm. customers, mm -hmm. and people are very, very concerned with their pets and their children, and pesticides are poisons, and we need to protect our customers and our, and our employees, so we're very careful with that. I love that, and Buffalo Exterminating does such a great job. I'm yeah. going to let you take that back <laughs> with you. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to find out more information about bed bugs and all the other pests you may have at home, call Buffalo Exterminating. Their phone number is 662-4000. Visit them online at buffaloexterminating.com. That's it for Western New York Living. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Enjoy the weekend. This segment of Western New York Living was paid for by Buffalo Exterminating. TV monitors for the Western New York Living set provided by the Stereo Advantage, your high definition headquarters. Special consideration for today's show paid for by the following.